What's good, fam? Welcome to the Skate Mob Podcast. We are about to take the streets by storm. Get ready to hang out with us. From tricks to trips and everything in between. We'll be talking to pros, amateurs, and beginner skaters. Sharing stories, hyping up the community. Whether you're a seasoned skater or just getting started. Or we could just chat. So buckle up, stay tuned, it's about to get real. Buckle up, stay tuned. It's about to get real, Meta. Yeah, man. Meta's in the building. How you like the intro? It was cool? Honestly, it really lives up to your freaking nickname of hype. Yo, that yo, that that beginning hype it was the funniest thing ever, yo. That was so good. I, I'm right now. I'm excited. <laughs> like I was excited to be here. But yo, I'm even more excited. That uh, that um, that guy that was saying hyper, yeah, yeah, yeah he was yeah. calling a cab for another skater, and um, the skater was they he couldn't we couldn't he, the, the 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 Uber driver couldn't find us downstairs. Okay. So he kept on calling my phone. I was like, hyper, hyper, <laughs> Uber, Uber. He called me like five times, yo. And then when I got home, I'm like, yo, what this shit was the funniest shit ever, yo. Is that how your nickname came up? No, hell no. Oh, okay. Hell no. I got hype. You want to know where hyper came from? Yeah. Uh, actually, hyper came from uh, Bashi. Oh. Bashi was coming up the steps in uh, City College. No city colleges, right? Mm-hmm. City colleges uh, in, in 160 some Street around there. Well, he was coming up the steps, and all the mics were sitting down. Okay. So he was just giving daps to everybody. Okay. And um, he was like, white mic, black mic, hyper mic. And he just, like, rang from there. Oh, wow. And um, that's it. Pretty much did it like that. You know? Were you hyper, actually? Like- mm, no, actually, it was... Um, I was down with the hyper, the hyper wheel company back in the oh, day. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was okay. at that time. Not too many people were sponsored by hyper, hyper okay. wheels, and uh, it was pretty. Hyper. Yeah. So that hyper, that long shit was another. <laughs> that was a crazy story. Okay. We good? Yeah. You hear me good? All right. Yeah, I can hear you good. You can hear me good. Yeah, I can hear you great. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and we got Metha in the building. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming. For sure, bro. For sure. So, Thank you for having me, honestly. You're welcome. You're very welcome. So we out here in a secret location. <laughs> do, do, do. About to be disclosed. Okay, you guys ready? Your GPS is ready? Just kidding. So <laughs> in case people don't know know you, Meta, um, you want to introduce yourself. Ah, oh, man. Like, a, like an elevator speech kind of thing? Yeah. However you want. Um, M-E-T-H-A, number four in IG. Basically, everything in that page is me, man. Like, I'm a father of two kids that I love and adore, and um, I serve uh, as a community organizer for an organization in the south of Manhattan. Um, I, I'm in New York doing that work. My family right now is in Texas, and you know, I'm part of the organization the nonprofit called Get Rolling. So I travel a lot because of that. So maybe some folks that listen to this have seen me somewhere else that is not New York. <laughs> uh, so I travel a lot. I like, I just really like to be in, in the community and being on as, as immersed as I can. Uh, I travel a lot before just doing skating and music. Um, and I benefit a lot from the goodwill of many people Laters around the world, um, and I felt like when I landed here in New York, I was like, I'm, I think it's time for me to just do my part, you know. Nice. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. That's that's, that's how we connected, right? And yeah, we did. We connect. First time I met you was it uh at uh, I think uh, was it Clark's place up in uh, the compound. The compound. Yeah. That's when we first met, right? That's when we first actually and hang out oh okay yeah that was cool that was a great experience when we was out there yeah camping in the back and the um the build of what he did yeah. that's pretty dope which now it's pretty humongous i know to we gotta get we gotta go again and have a good session yeah yeah shout out to clark faction and and the compound you know you know he's always welcome for us to come up with what you whatever we want to do as events and 
just run it by him and he's like open to the community coming out and so on it's like it's such a great space honestly the rap is amazing i know i know um yeah very welcoming over there they gotta do another big competition out there like a big big like like an invitation like or a something big like competition yeah. yeah but i think like it's his property that shit is is crazy yeah but you know we are in this era where we can do so much online i think that i think that he can do something because he's also very close friends with so many streamers oh you know? okay like uh josiah uh, um i roller boot and three three they have all been there yes at once, yes yes you know and they can create something like that and have a certain amount of people only they're competing only competitors allowed everybody virtual only virtual and that'll be sick but but you make it interactive where the, the people who are running the virtual they they get to call out or vote on whoever they pick like a on. like american idol <laughs> that would be like american idol right american roller american <laughs> roller call in now right and your votes and your votes will be set up that'll be fine yeah hosted by skate mob yeah <laughs> that will be hard work i'm sure there's a way I'm sure there definitely is a way. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that has the will, you know. So, time to time, I be checking out your Instagram, and um, I see that you uh, go on tours. You fly to places. Um, I see um, Ohio trip. I see, um, was it? Is it Texas? I'm going off the head right now. Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm and I'm noticing that you know you're doing camps out there, and you're teaching the youth. You're teaching the youth with a bunch of other pro skaters too, which I think is great. That's like one of the things why I like your style in skating because you going out to other countries, other places, other states, and teaching the right skating, like the right, like the lessons, like from falling to standing mm -hmm. to preparing the skates, the pads, you know, the how does you know you got to have some type of patience and some type of uh i kind of say it charisma mm -hmm. you know to uh to do that like why do you choose you live in new york I right now in new right? york and austin and austin right yeah so i used to teach kids too mm -hmm. but i used to stay in new york mm -hmm. so like you leave new york to actually teach kids there's Shout out to Ray Mendes, you know, there's people already doing it here. Right, you know, but he's, you he's one of the dude, <laughs> like, and, and, and I just took I took what was I already doing, which is traveling a lot. Yep. And seeing where what what they are doing here, where is where else is needed that they don't have it. Mm -hmm. Um so in the IG when you see the kids mostly you're gonna see is from Mexico we do a, the tour in Mexico with get rolling it's called get rolling next tour and we do it every year in November we take almost the whole month and we travel seven cities six states all volunteers uh, bladers from all over the world like some are considered amateurs some are considered beginners some are considered pros and we all volunteer and w we teach we teach to those kids we teach to the kids that are trying to teach other kids how to teach. We give them tools so they can teach the, the things forward. Um, and because the, the income is not comparable to the income in the United States, I cannot offer them a certification, So, but I can offer them the tools that can allow them to understand how to teach each other. Mm -hmm. um, so we do that, we coach the coaches, we, co we teach the kids, um, and, we, and we do it in a different way, man. We do a lot of games. We do a lot of games related to progression, but everybody's involved. Even the, the, the people that I will say are freaking pros in Mexico that are, you see them playing around and they're doing like full cap through Mizu to just spin top acid down the rail just to battle on, an, on a s skate game, you know? But then you ask them to go fake keep old ways and they cannot. Is, you know? the, is, the, is that is that pertaining to like skater versus skater over there or <laughs> skater versus like beginner trying to like no it's, it's more like where is your foundation okay 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 you know and yeah you can do these amazing tricks but so you got the local skaters out there yeah for the first time 
No, many times. Like many I, times, I okay. live in Mexico for like two years. Oh, okay. So you're talking um, about Mexico in general, okay. Yeah, and I connected with everybody and what I'm what we're doing is Oh, you're talking about the Mexico trip. Okay, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So what we're doing is connecting all those people that are already there gotcha. to work together. To work from city to city together, to work to organize events together so they can support each other, right? And then to be doing things on their own mm -hmm. and struggling. Is there know? is there uh Besides you visiting Mexico, is there like a skater there that's like, like really, really good in skating, but does not participate like in the skate culture, or he just there just to do it? Does it make sense? Like, uh, there's bladers in Mexico that are participating in teaching uh, in teaching kids. There's bladers that only want to do grinds and tricks, and they don't really care about anything else. Um, okay. And there's people that do the the, the that do both. Like, okay. Chicas roller. Most of them are always in every competition. I don't know how they do it, honestly. Um, they are almost in every competition in Mexico, um, which is very expensive, dude. And what they do is just teach kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all they do is teach kids, gather some money to buy the bus ticket to the next place, and come back. Okay. For people that don't know, so how large is your group out there? Like, how, when you're teaching, when you're teaching the youth. It, like, it, is it the whole entire day? Is it for a few hours? So every city we do three days. The okay. first day, usually we arrive after traveling, so we're tired. Um, so we either do a demo, a short demo, or we do a mingo. I so seen we, you with uh, Philip Grip. Yes. Yes, Philip Grip. This is you and Philip Grip. Fry Gomez, um, who is like a proper faction mm -hmm. uh, in Mexico. Um, this is, uh, and, and Daniel Delgadillo, who is like uh, the representative of get in mexico which is like our branch in mexico um, is that the main is that the main one the one when you go to mexico is that like that's just hub? one tour that's just one tour yeah but them creating get in mexico allows them to get to the resources that we have as get rolling meaning anybody that i know i'll connect them with for whatever they need anybody that uh, dale who is the media director knows that if they need help with media he's he's going to be the resource for them to either produce websites, understand how to do Patreons and stuff like that so they can get resources, right? Um, so basically we just feel like we're a like a network hub for for that organizer specifically. But And it's all skating? It's all skating. Nice. Yeah, nice. and just him being connected to us like on paper allows him to get benefits from the government. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. They support it out there. They support more of him because mm -hmm. they, they see that he's very serious about what he's doing and he's very invested. So they support him to the point that he has a school. That's great. Teaching kids. So a little something like a little bit like over here, I'm sure. Yeah, but you don't get that over No, there. you don't get, yeah, yeah. yeah That's know? the jewel, that's the jewel. Yes, yes. Because you're teaching a handful of people mm -hmm. with, with, with gold. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's that's, that's great. Yeah. But it's like eight of us and maybe teaching is only six of us. Okay. Because two, one, two people are like either filming or talking with the, uh, their host and making sure what's going to happen next is set. I saw you that know? documentary when you presented it out in Brooklyn last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was part of it, right? That's the the VOD. We do like a free VOD mm -hmm. for every year that we do the tour. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Was it, what was the name of that uh, video that you presented? Do you remember? Get Rolling Max Tour. And that Get Rolling was Max Tour. 2020. Two, it was the one I saw. Nice. That, was a saw. that was a beautiful documentary. Thanks, man. That was amazing. Thanks. And that was in partnership with Proyecto Mexico, which is Fry's, Fry Gomez's um, videography company. Mm -hmm. And that's how he sustains himself. Nice. He connects with bladers. And we connect him with bladers. And he also connects with other bladers like Julian Kudo. Like, um, what's his name? Julian Kudo, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, went out, he went out to Mexico? Yeah, if you haven't seen Food Moon, you should see. I Food saw Moon. F I saw a little bit of Food Moon. Well, Fry Gomez is one of the filmers there, and oh, nice. he's one of the producers. And we should have put it up on the uh, on the big screen oh, projector, that'd be nice. right? That would be nice. <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta put it on YouTube. It's probably on YouTube, right? It is. Yeah, it shouts, is. shouts to the director and, and, and Foot Moon, right? Food Moon. Yeah, Food Moon, I think yeah. it's a bit of deal. I think they're like running it for like a few bucks only, but but it's just to support this crazy journey of what Julian Kudot did. Yeah, yeah, that guy's... It's something else. But yeah. I still don't understand 
why he's wearing these Solomon's gates. I, I'm just so confused about that. I don't know. <laughs> I Listen. thought you was about to get up and say something. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think there's like people that really love the Solomon. I'm Gere. sure he does. I'm sure he you does. Know? I'm sure he does. But <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I mean, Joe Atkinson. You're talking about two of the best players in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Quite arguably, Julian Coudot is the best contest skating in the planet right now. I agree. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty decent. There's nobody there that if he goes to that contest and he's a part skate park contest that is like big and certified and people are putting on tv there's nobody i believe he's like the in the, 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 the superstar right right uh, yeah i met him at uh, detroit he came out with like these big ass jackets it was so funny it was so cool all right um so what 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 inspires you to put on your skates like what what, what was the beginning of the beginning not the I stole my skates from my brother. You, st <laughs> you stole your skates from your brother? Yeah. <laughs> we moved from Carolina to... Carolina, to, Puerto Rico. Yeah, to okay. the metropolitan area. Okay, that's where I was born. Uh -huh. um, and I was 12, and I already had my first gig, and my first gig was still in Carolina. What, year, what year was that? 96. 1996, you stole yeah. your first pair of skates. Yeah. Okay. And my brother was not doing anything with those skates, so I just grabbed them. Okay, do you remember what type of skates were they? Yeah, Rollerblade Lightning. Oh, we got a little uh, relation in, in the building. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so, okay. He painted one. them brown. Don't brown. ask me why. And, and like, ugly brown. I'm talking like... Boot brown? Like... Timberland. <laughs> like, like, poop. Brown. Poop shit brown. <laughs> 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 he probably he he wasn't a fan of skating at the time, right? I, I he didn't care. So when when you picked them up, right? So you had a choice, right? You had mm -hmm. a choice of like, yo, I'm gonna go skating or be in the streets or doing something else or, mm -hmm. um. So when you put them on, like, what was the feeling? Like, uh, did you? Obviously, you felt like you know, there's more to the world when you put it on, right? I don't know, man. I was just trying to get from one place to another so I can work. Right, and then one day this kid saw me on like I saw this kid on the basketball just floating on the edge of the basketball, and I'm playing basketball, and I'm like, what the hell is happening? And then, all right, I ignore it, I keep playing, and I turn around again, and he's floating again. He's doing a UFO on the edge of the of the basketball court. Oh, a UFO like a grind? A frontside UFO. Okay, so that's that kicked it off again. That's what took me to aggressive. Okay. Uh, so yeah. when I saw him, I was like, what the hell are you doing, man? And he's like, oh, we're skating. And they were so UFOs nice. were that, uh, that young, that early in age? UFO is old, bro. How old is UFO? <laughs> UFO is one of the first tricks. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I thought the fucking front side was. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, well, that was in Puerto Rico. That was in Puerto, Puerto Rico. That, bro, that was Puerto Rico. That was different. the style, man. Yeah, because um, in, in Hoax 2, <laughs> some guy, some guy, I think Rodriguez or something. Christian Rodriguez. Christian Rodriguez, Rodriguez right? Yeah. He did a UFO, and that's when I first seen the UFO in Dude. that video. Yeah. That was was that Chris? Yeah, it was. It was him. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that's 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 a jewel right there. Yeah, you dropped dude. the gem. I that's what's up. Freaking respected that dude so much, you know. Yeah, yeah, he had a he, good one. Yeah, he was the first person I ever saw X screen through a kink. Really? Oh yeah, that the heavy shit, right? The heavy. Sh like he oh, would yeah. like see any kink and be like, okay, it's on. Nice. <laughs> you know what he's talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, he was like when I seen that guy on the videos. Yeah, he was like, "We got Puerto Ricans." That's good. Besides yeah. Abdiel, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. And um, those two were already doing hurricanes, you know. It was dope. Great, great feeling. Yeah, yeah. So twelve year old, you, twelve years, you took off. Your, you got the skates. You got the brown skates, and you did your thing. Yeah. Then I saw I saw I saw him on the edge floating, and they were so nice. Like they were like, "Oh yeah, this is what we're doing." I was like, "Oh, I have some skates, but they're not like that." 
And they're like, oh, well, you can just grind them in the middle like we do. And he showed me his case and he had linings and he had like freaking took the wheels off and rub it on the freaking edge of the basketball court nice. until it, you know? And the curves, they weren't, they were round, right? No, they were freaking. They were sharp? Or sharp. Were they? Okay. They I'm were sure. sharp, dude. They were sharp and it was not meant for, for us to be doing what we were what, doing. The, <laughs> the basketball course had like a, like a, uh, like a barrier, like a, like, said, like a, like a bunker. Is it basketball bunker? It wasn't no. like a basketball court outside. It was just like it a was bunker. like if if the basketball went all the way to like the court itself, yeah, and all the way to the edge of the court, and then it dropped onto a ledge, and, and then it was a sidewalk. Okay, okay. So it, the the edge of the basketball court was this was the ledge. Nice. Which is was like I was like so weirded out by it. like what the hell is this guy doing just floating around like like my brain couldn't comprehend that thing, man. So you started skating with Christian after that. A little bit after that. Okay, you know? cool. Yeah. Oh, that's I, nice. Honestly, most time when I was skating with Christian out of the beginning, I was just watching them, dude. Cause, yeah. Because it's him, Adiel, Juanqui, which is another guy, Carlos Payan. All those guys were like, they will get to the spot with a list. And that list, they say, is, this is the double list. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it was a list of tricks. Damn. And they had Mistro. Okay, we're going to do Mistro. Mistro Lefty, Mistro Righty. And what year was this? This is, you said you was twelve this, years old, twelve, uh, thirteen. No, at that point, at that point, that was like when I was starting to skate with them. It was like ninety nine, two thousand. Okay, okay, because you're saying mistrial, you know, leads to different. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, but th but these guys like they were militant. They was like inventing shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And much props to the PR people. Did they have a crew out there in PR? Right well, now, yeah. Like what was the crew? No, back then did they have like a, like a crew name? Oh, no, I don't think so. No, no they yeah, I ain't have like a bandido crew or anything like no, that. No, 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 I don't think so. I think the goal was to just be in BG, so we like had a bottom of crew, crew, yeah. Okay. okay. So, so I so, think that was the goal at that moment. Like BG four. Those people were the people to look at, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoax four, you know, you know. That's fire. <laughs> Meta in the building. Meta is in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's check out more. It's crazy how many bladers are here in, in New York that are Puerto Rican or New Yorkian. You no, know? I'm down. Yeah, I'm right? definitely New Yorkian. It's crazy, right? Yeah. How, how many? It's a it's lot. A lot. <laughs> when I, <laughs> when I started yeah. skating, it was <laughs> maybe like five Puerto Ricans and like two black kids. Come on. You two, see, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. So Puerto Rico has been heavily involved in blading in New York for a long time. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Yep. Wow. Maybe a few Italians but and Dominicans. But yeah. Asian. Mm. Asian was a big, uh, big thing back in the day. Here back, in New York? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens. The whole thing was like the shit. Whoa. It was like a battle. It was a it was a different time. Did did you did you correlate it with the hip hop era where people were like doing their break dances groups and having their areas and nobody will mess with each other and Yeah. 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 At that time we would take off our skates and do windmills and shit. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to go as a matter of fact, um shouts to my Bronx people out there. Um, we used to go to the flats. I mean, not the flats. The um, the the, the globe. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Globe yeah, in yeah, Queens. Yeah. You know yeah, how they have Queens, like a flat yeah, side. For sure, yeah. We used to go skate, and then we used to do like windmills and six steps. You know, not me, because I, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm a skater, <laughs> you know. But they used to do that shit. They take out their skates and blades and just boom session out. Yeah. Damn. Break Graffiti break dance. Yeah. Wow. And this was like in '97, '90s. Yeah, early. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy because my, I also was very heavily involved in hip hop in Puerto Rico. Yeah, when I started blading, okay. because every like for us, every movie that we will see, we had no idea what this music was coming from. Really? At all? You know, some people knew. Mm -hmm. Some other people only. I learned most of the music that I now like from back in the day from videos of skating yeah it was a big yeah. inspiration i can imagine when it first came down oh, there yeah. yeah 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 holy shit you hear that shit yeah. wow i think music is so embedded in many things and obviously in skating 
Just but we took it to a level, man. Like, we were hip-hop skaters. Like, we were baggy pants. That's exactly how that shit was in New York. Right? Exactly how it right? was in New York, yeah. <laughs> How'd y'all dress out there? That's we pretty the much the same way. way same way, right? Like, same way. We were on the island, and it was hot, and we were still in the... Because Christian, Christian had a tight <laughs> shirt. Like, they was skating, y'all was skating on with tight t-shirts and baggy pants. Yeah, and they did that yes, that, back, that's back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Facts though. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Lord. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's fucking. You remember like a huge bottom? What is it? Bell bottom pants that we they used to did. use, dude. You did it. I didn't do it. Wow. You had the cut in the middle. I didn't have the cut. Oh. Uh, <laughs> did you ever skate with your pants backwards? No. Okay, good. No, 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 no. That's Chris Cross. Stay in Atlanta, right? That was Atlanta <laughs> thing. <laughs> but hip hop, hip hop had a big culture effect on the skating too, mm-hmm. because um, during that time when uh, aggressive was like dope, dope, mm-hmm. like the Nis and all that shit. Oh, yeah. Tupac and I. This is my belief. Tupac and Biggie. They had that rap battle. So mm-hmm. it was the same way with the skaters. Rap right. battling. I skate better than you. You skate better than me. My skates are better than yours. You don't got this. I got this. Your crew sucks. Your crew definitely yeah. sucks because <laughs> it was a thing. And they had popular spots in New York. They had um, you know, like a famous area anywhere in New York that people go to. It could be the banks. It could be anywhere. Mm. But when you go show up, you're gonna meet another crew automatically. Oh, it's going to be a battle. And there's an eye to eye. Because mm-hmm. in that level of five that you're skating with, only one of y'all motherfuckers are good. Or two. Mm-hmm. Or two. If, yeah, exactly. So out of the other crew, your best man steps up. Oh, oh, oh. So you already know, whoever sits down, they don't got it. So whoever stays in that circle, it's fire. It's wow. fire and ice, yeah. Pretty much like a it, cypher. Yeah, and it's like that too. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. It's like a cypher, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And it's <laughs> and it's like that with the skate parks today too. If you're not skating, the g- a, little, a little bit. No, it is. In in like in in the in the more mature culture, it is because then you realize whoever stays skating, which is I think what you were gonna say, whoever stays skating is who has it. You know, the rest at that point you either are tired already, so you ain't got it. <laughs> or or do you still have like the desire to watch these people because they're doing so much better than you yeah you know and you want to learn and you want to observe you know yeah 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 or since you in new york met the, are you still teaching in new york no no i'm certified skate ia so i can teach but uh, i you know i i teach person to person but i don't really look or want to make money from teaching um it more, I, just, I, I, I think I want to just help as much as I can with people that want to do things in blading and because I have the experience organizing my professional uh, level of community organizer, bring it to to what I can bring to the community. That's really what I want to focus on. Okay. So for me, the, the teaching and making money to teaching, i rather like refer to... Um, Jesus Medina or Treb the Dub or like areas and people are actually trying to make a living from that. Very cool. You know? Very cool. No, we're all doing our part, bro. Yeah. We're all doing our part. I did I did my fair share of like teaching. I taught for a lot of years. There I you totally go. understand where it went, where it goes. Um that's great. So how many so how many kids have you taught over the head? Give a give a give a like a little count. So count in in every mix tour alone. Um, we grow like maybe 50 to 100 every year. Um, so last year we saw almost 400 And this students. is just basic in line in a different country, right? All sorts. Honestly, Mexico have all the levels, but, but within those levels we're trying to teach foundational skating. Yeah. So things that... I think that's important. Yeah, yes. at, at all levels they can continue to use, you know? Like, so, so, so it's not like basic or hard it's more like how do we learn together and how we can have fun and at the same time have tools for keep progressing because it's only most of the clinics are games too it's yeah. like individual yeah. one-on-one with field gripper Kids that's cool love right? games, but, yeah. but then most of it is games like once we close the, the session the rest of the clinic is games and these games is just to polish what you were learning to to make uh, a, a plain a level playing field where Whoever you taught, 
it was a pro. All levels. Right. Whoever you told was a pro, now you're competing against your pro. But guess what? In this instance, you can you can win because let's say it's the 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 longest holding unity on a spine, you know, and you're just on top of the coping holding it, right? Do, do you think that is because you're a pro that you're gonna win? No, it's because oh. you practice unity a lot, maybe, and maybe you're gonna win that one. You know, so it's merit. It's like if you put effort into it, you're gonna get the benefit of it. So, so it's foundation, you know. I'm not scared of the guy that knows <laughs> how to fight a lot. I'm scared of the guy who threw the same punch a thousand times. Oh yeah, because you don't know what he has behind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He did that a thousand yeah. Times. Yeah. 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 And I I've seen you skate before, Mata, mm -hmm. and your style of skating it it it. It's like you're a collective of uh, a lot of people. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because we all learn from each other. Correct. Yeah. You know, and. Um, 100%. Though. And so no when, I, when, I, when I see you skating, I don't, I don't see like a, like, a, like a teacher. I don't see like a. I see someone that he mastered his craft. He knows what the fuck he's doing. Mm. That's that's kind of like freedom, like you know, just free, just doing your shit. Yeah. But, but that is really what I want to feel when I'm yeah. skating. I just want to be free, dude. Yeah. I want to be free, and I have I want to have fun, just exploring what the hell I'm doing. I went from being a grinder to being a blader. I've been saying that lately. A grinder and blader. Ex explain that. Explain that. Um, we used to tap tap, jump onto the green, then land. That's it. Tap, tap, jump onto the grind, you land, that's it. Okay. Right? That's not a skater. You're not actually skating. You're really? grinding. I, I, yeah, I love this. This, this is you going. Know? Knock on wood. Let's go, Matthew. <laughs> right? Let's go. I want to hear this. <laughs> Dude, and because honestly, just before that, and I, with all the love in the world, I'm going to say I hate you, Cameron Card, because it's your fault. Uh, so, so when I started hanging out with Cameron, okay. he was out of, he didn't want to grind anymore. All he wanted to do was flow and uh, go from place to place uh, and go from hill to hill yeah. and oh. connect things together oh, and my brain started to see oh actually a different the different level of skating it's yeah. totally different level of skating I yeah i didn't know how you to know skate it. bro i didn't ah, know how to skate around you've been fooled my friend yeah <laughs> i didn't know how to yeah, skate yeah. i i look like a guy that was running on a treadmill Okay. You know, Makes rather sense. than somebody that is actually oh. using all yeah. the eight wheels and moving from one place to another one. So right now, my thing is, how do I feel every moment connecting to the other movement, transferring the energy, being as lazy as I can, so I can enjoy it the most? I feel connected the same way because I did the same exact thing in different steps. Mm. I took a part of my skate career. I'm going to just wear speed skates. Mm. And I taught kids in speed skates whoa right i learned the maneuvers because they're a little sharper yeah, yeah, yeah i didn't really know that because yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. coming from aggressive with you know two wheels yeah on each different movement um and then i was like you know what i'm an aggressive skater i'm gonna just switch my fucking frames on and just put these on mm. and then i went and go skating but me doing that multiple times i developed a different skill big time mm -hmm. i'm like i'll be downtown two seconds aggressive not taking the train Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. But that's what he, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. So same thing with 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 ramps. Same thing with curbs. Yep. Same thing. You have to learn all these different types of steps to master yep. what you want. Yeah. It's kind of different for me. You know, I started in the in the beginning too. Mm. You know, we were talking. Me and Frog was talking about earlier when the moves were coming out. We didn't know what what our body movements were going. Hundred percent. You know, so in time it developed. <laughs> into oh this is exactly how it is yeah sometimes when i still skate i get some yo you skate like you know the shit i'm mm -hmm. like yeah i've been doing it for i've been doing that so grind for many 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 right years. so you have the form set for all long but time. i started it from when it be began does it make sense yeah totally. rather than the person doing it now that he saw millions of videos yeah we didn't see the millions of videos we saw the what two videos yeah yeah so it's it's pretty different so we kind of like mastered people yeah. like in, in, in my area, um, they do it just like that. Mm -hmm. um, this past couple of weeks, the, the the contest with Jeff Donalds, he'd been skating since he was a, since he was a kid. Yeah. He told me, he said, he was a kid, nine years old videos and all that shit. The dude 
is a master. He's, you can't tell him nothing. He's a fucking master. No, no, no. Out of it. He's regardless of the sponsors, regardless of this and whatever. Right. He's a ma- He's straight yeah. guru. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is look at him skating. And you can tell. And you know. Yeah. And you can tell. Yeah. This guy is like a Jordan or something. Off Scotty the Pippen. Just off the push. Yeah. And yeah. there are a lot of guys like that. Many, many guys. Like there that. is. There is. You know. So and you can tell. But if you see that one person that wants that ambition, you're gonna be like, "Yo, something's going on." Hundred percent, hundred percent. And it's a, it, and it's a teaching game too. Yeah, you know, competition is is a very tough. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think competitions are for everybody. No, I don't think that Not every pro can be defined like. Also, that maybe that's a topic too, like yeah, talking about so pro good. bladers. Yeah. I think that changed so much. You it know? did, yeah, because. So there's there's pros that are the people that are competing. Yeah, broke pros ain't making a dime, which is sad. Just say, right. say, say, which is most. I say, which is Some. most. It's yeah. most, you know. Which is very sad. It's most. I'm I'm happy that there's people like <laughs> Billy. There's people that Julio. There's people that that um, you know, like that are trying to do for the for the for the skaters a little bit more than it has been done before like faction you know yeah yeah it's growing um, it's growing it's 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 happening yeah so obviously the big corporations still the big corporation you know. we, we, we're gonna be we're gonna be the corporation soon you know the Can't skate mob corp no we never know you soon. didn't see it coming but now you're <laughs> pregnant <laughs> now you <laughs> 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 That's how it goes, right? <laughs> of joy for this game of you know. Matt is a, is a fucking jewel, yo. <laughs> that was a jewel. Yeah, <laughs> big time. <laughs> Dude, shout out with the with the merch of Skate Mob, you know, honestly. I always see that you're always putting something out and I try to share it too, like because you always have something fresh coming up, dude. Thank I, you. I, I've been staring at this freaking thing, I gotta grab it now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's that's one of the concepts. Five panel with the with the camo and mm-hmm. this camo is different dude it's, it's not, not like everybody right? else's camo this is cool you see and it's this is for summer dude when you're gonna come out with this that's the whole point you got to fool a lot of people like hey. Ryan, you, you know who ryan garcia is the boxer yeah i, I know yeah, you yeah, heard yeah. of ryan garcia yeah, right yeah. i started becoming a fan of this guy okay because he was just acting like a total total asshole on, on instagram i was like oh this guy's fucking funny mm. guy won the fucking match just doing whatever he likes to do yeah, acting yeah, like yeah. a fucking idiot but he did it i'm not saying i'm acting like an idiot to do creative stuff but when you do stuff take you take a risk of anything and just take just just go with it you're spending yeah. money on shit yeah. just go for it yeah 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 execution <laughs> it's a noun stop talking and put the put in the word yeah yeah <laughs> okay yeah what, what what stops you is if you say i want to do something and somebody be like gives their crazy opinion and then you take it too much Mm, mm, you mm, take mm. it too too much mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that's that's a, a big issue i think i mean i think i mentioned this in other places too but like i think the biggest issue in in that that i encounter is which is why i'm here you know um there's so many people in the community that only talk and it's cool to have ideas i actually i, I invite the conversations i invite the people that's talking and just say that's great but but you gotta filter through the people that actually Work. wanna do something. Yeah, and that's Work. where I wanna put my time and effort. Work. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Like, no, it's that's totally where cool. I really it's like wanna, that everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like exactly, and that's mm-hmm. another thing. Like we can pass anything from what you wanna do in skating life or in life into your skating life, yeah. back and forward. You know, it's it's yep. totally a mirror. It's totally applicable. I don't understand why we have to think that skating is for kids and we have to have two different lives. Like that's so silly. Whoever thinks that, if you are with a person that but thinks that. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Uh, where, uh, 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 in what year do you leave? Or, in, you know, come on. Like, w- we are here to leave. We're not here to work. And if our work is our life, it's going to be our best work. For sure. You know? I dig it. Yeah. Dropping gems. <laughs> Dropping gems. I mean, you inspire me with all I these got, I got posters. Them like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> generic <laughs> clap <laughs> standing <Damn>. ovation <laughs> you know, I didn't know you guys were able to clap so hard yeah. <laughs> you got a big studio here yeah <laughs> <laughs> you need a, you need somebody with the with the signs 
You yeah, know, you know. <laughs> but then you play the sound like it's so many people, and and in the video you put them to only <laughs> what it sounds like is a bunch of people. <laughs> That'll be fucking totally cool, right? Oh, hold on, now you all have a speaker too. I do have a speaker. I was trying to connect. I need a, like aux, but that's something different. No, but it has your name on it. Yeah, that was a special gift from a special someone. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool yeah um wow. that's, that's, that's a that's a real special gift um i love it dude you're skating on it so i'm, I'm gonna you know hype it that's, up. that's bottle rails oh for real damn nice. and i could tell you i could tell you exactly who was there that day oh yeah it is you wanna know who was there that day who the main man from pr abdil nope not abdil Miguel Ramos. Miguel Ramos. Miguel Ramos. Did Shout he just out. go there? Um, no, but it was uh, Tato. Oh, Tato. Yeah. yeah. Shout and out to Hector Gonzalez. Yes, the man. Yo. Tato. When I met that guy, straight from Puerto Rico, Island. He's that. He's that. He's that chacho. Chacho. He always guy. gonna be. That. <laughs> he's the chacho yeah. brother. That's the chacho yeah. brother guy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As soon as I laid eyes on him, he started smiling, like, yo, what the fuck? Because he knew I wasn't from Puerto Rico, obviously. I'm from New right, York. Right, right, right. So we said, what's up? And I had, you know, photo shoot, another guy named, I forget his name. He had psycho clothing. Shouts to him. Psycho. Oh, hey, Josue. Josue, yes. Psycho. Wonder Shout what out he to doing. Josue. Yeah, he, he took that photo. And um, I was like, yo, let me that? see. It. Yeah. Nice. And that was a switch. Oh. Switch top, so. Lefty? Yeah. Nice. I'm a righty, but I, you know, I, I did it so much, I can't tell anymore. Mm. That I, I mean, I, I don't believe in switch. Now, in this, in, in this, in this, in this day what age, it, the times has changed. The times has changed. You can't all right, left all right. right. What do you mean? I think, I think there's left. I think there's right, but there's no switch. No, switch, no switch, switch is only an excuse, right, for mm. you to not so spend time doing the other one that is more difficult for you to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Fucking dude. effects. Yeah. I love it. All right, so Meta, if you had to put a skate, not your current skates, I know you still skate. Good question. What's What is, and there's no favoritism, it's just you. Mm. What is your ultimate skate? Like to put on your so, feet right now and just break out of here. Man. Like if you had to put on some some joints and just get get out some right. nice ah. and just like give me those, I want these. Get the fuck out of here. Like what would be soft boo, hard boo? No, no Solomon's, right? Hey, if that's your choice, you can definitely <laughs> yeah. fucking pick Solomon's because <laughs> I got Solomon lovers out there. Listen, only because they're not in the industry right now and I cannot get parts for them. I will say that, but really 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 like all, all i don't have them right now because they're not out but i tried the prototype of the faction plastic skates i saw a little glimpse of it okay Man. shouts to faction wow dude like shouts to faction it's a throwback with a new liner like they have like a mm. listen i've been skating you're gonna, in give us some, you're gonna give us some trailers out there uh, i've been nobody skating. know about that i, know, I, know, <laughs> no. I mean i think we kind of dab into it in, in our you can dab into it um, if you, everybody go shop at Faction one. right now. Dude, I mean, it, it's not out yet. It's on prototype get the, old, get, the old, get the old ones first. Yeah, so Quick. He, I think he leaked something in the Instagram, yeah, yeah. like the little plastic edge. But, but dude, mm -hmm. I tried him at Crowder, and I'm never, I love hard boots. It's plastic yeah. hard boot, right? Because I like my knee to bend. I like myself to bend. You don't I, want to feel like tennis. Right. I don't want my, my, my skate to do the work for me. Right? Yep. So I really like it. I like my skate tight, and I like my skate um, hard. So Faction might be the one. Okay, I can't wait to see but, these. But man. it feels like That's you're skating hard. a carbon boot. Would you? It feels like you're skating a carbon boot with the 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 solidness of a, of a plastic boot. Yeah, you hear you hear this, folks. You hear this, folks. The liner is. I don't know. He hasn't leaked much about the liner, dude. But the liner, the liner is like. I've I've been skating intuitions for four years now. Does it feel like the Solomon one? Nah. No, it's like it's like it's <laughs> like you know how people are like slimline. That's why I skate. Yeah, the slimline, 
or intuition. This mm. is like they had a baby. You know, dude, it's so <laughs> it's, it's it's so nice. It's like, soft and squishy, but it's, strong. Exactly. I know what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. The the support is there, but so you don't yeah, feel overwhelmed by it. Like, yeah. It's really good. It's really good. That would be probably. That would be probably what I, what I would like to, to skate. Oh, for okay. a long time nice. i skated it for one day and i was gonna like, put on wow. some imaginary faction boots and yeah. just get out of here <laughs> i like it yeah. metha you've been great thank you bro. you've been great continue what you're doing thank you and um you're still doing the tours right you're yeah. still gonna continue uh, doing the, the tours? next one is operation ohio operation okay. ohio operation ohio.com okay. just as simple as that we it's, it's it's a big wheel skate we skate from columbus to cincinnati for four days um we booked the campsites nobody pays anything for it you sign up it's limited spaces because we want to keep it in a small group because we camp together and we skate by the trail the trail is paved is it's very chill there's no hills it's freaking ohio so it's all flat but then in between there's like breweries there's rivers there's little towns with really nice food that is very cheap um so it's just a way to disconnect and, and chill and and just be in community in a different way you know like, yeah nice do you yeah. teach in ohio do you teach uh, classes out there no or? that is just a skate out that we invite people to come and okay it's, it's, it's more for creating mental health awareness perfect yeah so we oh have, yeah yeah you have yeah. like the little uh, like meetings before beforehand right after after like uh, on the fourth day yeah somebody from the national alliance of mental illness comes and give their testimony of their mental illness. And That's what beautiful. Going through, yeah. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Sometimes you need to reconnect and, and figure things out. You know, yeah. that's that's great. Yeah. So that's that's next. That's and then in November again, Mexico. Which, if anybody listens to this before then and is interested in volunteer, um, we cover all the trip from the beginning to end. All you gotta do is cover your ticket to get there and to get out of Mexico, and. Um, so everybody can find you most of all the information on instagram getrolling.org oh okay getrolling.org yeah get website rolling get without on. get roll in without g at the end <laughs> dot org so everybody log on get rolling yeah like it share it yeah show support. In, in instagram too like you said like and get on rolling there's, the there's a link there's a link on instagram mm -hmm. okay yeah mm -hmm. for sure everybody yeah. follow that yeah check it out yeah yeah and Operation Ohio is also in Instagram. So what's the, what's the most popular one out of your tour? Popular, we do one in Puerto Rico that we're moving from December to January now because we're collaborating with Gabriel Garcia, Gabriel Rivera, Jesus, yeah. the blade from Faction. Um, and he wants to do an invitational, so we're going to collaborate with him to hype what he's doing, make blend it with what we do, and we're going to move it to January. Nice. Uh, but uh, the most... I think the I don't know if it's the most popular, but I think the most important is the Mexico one. You know, it's 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 something that every city that we go, the people that are actually trying to do something there, mm -hmm. it generates so much support from the local parents that want kids. No, oh, wow, these people are bringing people from the state to to teach my kid. Okay, I'm gonna support them more. So that creates more support for everybody trying to do something there. So I think for service to the community, I think that's the most important one. Um, okay, the Mexico. So, how many years you've been going to Mexico this for that be, clinic? This is going to be the fifth year. The fifth year. Yeah. Is there one skater that remembers you from day one? There's one. That there's, there's, there's there's more than one. There's a few that have been with us since the first time that we started the tour. Yeah, there's a family that um, there's two cities that we go that are four to six hours away from each other. What? Yeah, and and this family what you said. goes yeah. to the three days of clinics in one and travels and goes to the three days of clinics in the other one, the whole family, the parents and the kids. At that point, that's no what a banger. Yeah. That's a banger. Yeah, dude. That's why. Like, I mean, if, if, if you have that experience, mm -hmm. if you are the person that get to see that happening, wouldn't you want to go back again and do it? Yeah. I mean, you did a major impact. You put it's a stamp on it. I mean, yeah. I don't know. At that point, yeah. you're responsible to mm -hmm. a certain degree mm -hmm. to, to continue to nurture them until they can move pass down forward like like you learned before like i learned before that blading is all about passing it forward dude like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna have fun you know but at, at a certain point 
That's the new level of pro. You know? That's the new level that of professional. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Back to the 50, he said, and the 50, by default, that means thousands. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Earth. that's the point, you know, to Earth. keep our culture alive. That means yeah. thousands. Yeah. Don't you think that when, when COVID hit, don't you think oh, that, yeah. like, maybe oh, now, everybody that you see that is part of the blading community right now, if you can put them all on a on a big circle, 50% or more of those people would be new people that came back in the industry to COVID. Yeah. Yep. So maybe less than 40% is us that have seen our culture, our community go through all the ups and downs, be so high up that we crash yep. and now trying to hold each other together and trying to help each other out little by little for all these years but maintaining this culture of like, if you're a blader, I know that I that that, that, that you got my back, you know. Yeah. If uh, no matter where you are, is if if you if somebody from France hits you up, and you see a message on IG, oh my God, guys, if you know anybody in New York, I don't oh, have anybody yeah. here. Are you gonna link him up? Are you gonna find somebody to stay yeah. with? Are you yeah. gonna give him a place of me? Of course you will, because he's a blader. Right yeah, that is our culture. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is for us. The, 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 the now rest of us that are the minority within the big majority yep. to keep continuing that which is why I'm appreciative of what you're doing which yeah, is why yeah. I'm appreciative that you're doing this which is why I want to support anybody in our community that wants to do something you told me dude and I was like yeah man yeah. I'm down let's show uh, up yeah after, the, after your interview you like Quick. yeah we reached out yeah yeah for yeah. sure yeah. that's love yeah yeah that's how it goes no yeah. sleazy angle no sleazy angles <laughs> no ulterior motives <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, dude. Yeah, yeah, for and, sure. And sadly enough, you already know there's so many of us that are not really doing the work. Like, how about you say, 90% 90, 90 who quit are employed by the 3% that never gave up. That's right. That's, that's, it's on your walls, dude. It's on your walls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Boom, boom. I need yeah. to flex. Yeah. I need the Funk Master flex ball. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but, but in reality, if we are part of that 3% that are not trying to give up, our goal is to really try to influence one or two percent or three or four or five percent of that 97 percent so we can be 10 percent and do more yeah yeah Ra rather than just be three yeah, it's a it's a trend in, in the in the skate culture it's a 10 yeah yeah, yeah. it's a 10 uh, you know a lot of people need to get woken up but you know it's a, it's a big trend mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know even if it's just the aggressive culture mm -hmm. there's still like a like a pie split yeah. of the aggressive 100%. culture percent you know what I'm saying? So it's still in the works. You know, yeah, it's yeah. still in the works. Not everyone, not everyone's millionaires and billionaires. Not everybody's no, rich. No, no. You know, some people are putting all their money into something they love. Some yeah. Still yeah. You know. to make yeah. It yeah. 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 And it takes, it takes guts, dude. Yeah. It takes guts. So, so props to anybody like you and anybody that is doing something. It's not easy, dude. No, no. It takes guts to do it. It takes time to do it. You yeah, know, yeah. you're taking time away from your life. Maybe now here with your better half, right? Which yep. is cool to have the support. But in reality, you guys are putting time. Yeah. You know, that's value. It's like, it, it's, it's not for everybody to do it. So the ones that are doing it, we should we should give props to and just continue, dude, because there's not that many of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's not hey. that many of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, tra the trail goes a long way with me supporting. <laughs> yeah. So one last question, one last question, Matthew, before we hang it up here. Oh, we, al we, al we almost got like an hour in here. All right. Um, and I don't want to hold you up, and I don't want to have a seven-hour podcast here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep people in tune. Okay. We did a competition in Brooklyn, and you mentioned I did the ASA one time. I judged the ASA, and I'm like, word? Mm. Get the fuck out of here. Mm. And the other day I read uh, – on the Instagram post, like the the rules and regulations on the on the uh, ASA Pro ASA Tour, Pro Tour uh, like rules and regulations, right? I read it. I'm like, oh shit, there's fucking rules. They, they actually written that shit. And when you told me, you was like, yeah, I did the ASA. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Because I was trying to, you know, make it. All right, so the there's judging the Pro Tour and there's the Am Tour. I right, did the Am Tour. I, I'm sure. I'm sure it was the same thing. Okay. It's it's not. It was it was written in stone, but half of it was chipped off. Okay. So the judging system that I was creating is pretty much. Damn, this is exclusive content. I'm about to just share right now. Close the doors. <laughs> so the judging system that I'm 
I'm implementing, mm-hmm. which I pre- think is really good. I'm doing it for the next skater can continue mm. to skate the next one. A fair game, fair ball game. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. The way they did it, it wasn't a fair ball game. It made people lose and lose and get the fuck out. I don't ever want to come back. It was a filter more than a judgment. Yeah. You know? So this one makes you want to come back to the yeah, next yeah. one. Yeah. Because even if you lose, I almost had it. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. I yeah. almost, I almost had it. I'm going to come back next year and rip that competition yeah. into seven pieces. Yep. Yep. And I was reluctant at first. I was like, dude, I've never experienced something like this before. And honestly, I, I, I think you should continue to do it. I no, think it's, more it's people should know about it. It's dude, you should works. just do more. Of it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Honestly, I did. It's really good. I did a few different comp contests, mm. but they were all different. Okay. There was like street. There was like ramps in, involved. There was uh, skate parks, and so those judging it's a little different. There was mm. group skating. It wasn't one on one. Okay. So like all those are, are different. But that was the last moment that I did. It was like, hey, can we just? I'm like, fuck, no, I don't want to, but fuck it. There's nobody else doing it. Right, right. We you got know, it. So I got, we got to keep it moving. <laughs> but, but, you but, see, but you're saying it again. That's just how we are, dude. Yeah. When, <laughs> we just so, got to do We're just going to do it, you know? <laughs> so, so tell me a little bit about the ASA when you was a judge. Tell me about that little moment that you had when you was actually a judge for the ASA. I, I only judge uh, best trick. Comp. It's okay. Um, what was your, like, uh, how'd it go? It was, I mean, John was there. It was interesting to um, to just be in, because in, this was, that year was in the Totten. In, in, and I don't know if you've ever been there in the north of San Juan, where all the staircases are with the green rails. So the ASA in Puerto Rico. What year yeah. It was an ASA in Puerto Rico, maybe 99, probably, no? no? Uh, after that. 2003? Mm-hmm. 2003. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and so you're uh, judging in PR, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And well, PR, heavy. PR is PR is different from the well, states. It's still heavy. It's still, it is still heavy. Yeah, I mean the place was like it was packed, man. I'm sure like, it was. the production yeah. level was insane. I can imagine. For me, like studying communications at that point, I wasn't really that much caring about the skating, to be honest. Yeah. I was caring about what camera that guy had. Okay. You know what kind of like it's software to be okay. able to to okay. to upload immediately live that w- they were using stuff like that because. I was a geek of production back then, you know, but I also was a skater. So just being, to me, it was just being next to who I was next to and, and who, who, like seeing all the people and seeing all the cameras. I was just a very overwhelmed. But so who, who won the best trick at the SA? How did you my mark friend, it out? My friend broke his arm and I left. When you left? No, my, my friend, he did, uh, he f- if you remember, he slipped on so the horrible. spine and he went to the other side of the spine and like slapped the mm-hmm. spine so so hard that mm-hmm. his arm broke and he was here. Oh, okay. And During when he was watching, when he was warming up, okay, to the comp. So I had to leave. Oh, oh, so so I didn't see the final who won. But but you were judging. You were judging, right? Yeah, but because I had to leave. I couldn't. Oh, you could have finished judging, it. Right? Okay, so uh, you yeah. had a little little yeah a little a little, little taste. snooze. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I like okay okay yeah all right all right yeah. okay yeah that's cool cool enough you yeah the right thing. but to see people like boosting 900s like frank <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh you saw that yeah 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 yeah. dude like the first time i had met frank king frank is a dude he we were in quebradillas and it, it was night everybody was tired and he's just chilling and getting there you yeah know? yeah he, he's he's definitely um God's favorite right there. Well, he didn't even he had... <laughs> wait, I like what you did there. I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, he didn't even have his skates on, right? Okay. He, he, he's, he was on the top of the box, which is like a 12 feet, 14 feet box that it was just going yeah. down, and then a five box, and then a, a quarter pipe, eight feet quarter oh. pipe that l- could launch you up to an eight or mm-hmm. 10 That's foot extension yeah. box. And the first thing that he did was without blocking like uh, uh, buckling his skates he passed the fly yeah. box and went 540 soil on the extension box alley top size soil 360 out to fakie without his buckles on you know <laughs> well he probably had those rbs that had the inside strap or some shit no he was no fucking k2s back in the days man. <laughs> 
He was kidding K twos back yeah, then. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Props yeah. to him, man. Yeah. He was always no, was no, no. Legendary. Actually, he was on RBs. Yeah, he was. Yeah, on RBs, RBs had yeah. a double strap in there. Yeah, yeah. fooled you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Matt, it was a pleasure, man. Thanks Thank for you for coming me, on bro. to the podcast, man. We appreciate you here. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you for you, doing man. this. Play the outro music out here. There we can go. take it there from there. We'll be back in. If you enjoyed the show, please show your support by leaving a comment liking or subscribing to our social media platforms that's all we ask for your support means a lot to us hashtag skate mob podcast peace